Hello you fine ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? I hope your day is going well. Today we have yet another hero review or hero guide and we are going over Luke Skywalker who is probably one of my um, favorite heroes in the game just because he is quite a powerful hero. He's very versatile. He can handle many different game modes, many different map styles. So he's just a very good all around hero. So let's get into his abilities to start with. Now, of course, he has the Force Push, which is very, very powerful as it's really a one-hit kill on enemies and can affect many enemies at a time. Now, a lot of people use this uh, in larger maps, you know, on like Hoth and stuff. They go out into the open and they use this Force Push because it does, it does have decent range. However, Force Push is really, really awesome when you can use it in close quarters area when enemies are all grouped up. I mean, I've seen a lot of clips of people on smaller maps like the uh, the hallways in Hoth, perhaps, or just really small close quarters areas where there's a bunch of enemies grouped up and then they use Force Push and they get a ton of kills. That is really where Force Push is the most beneficial in close quarters. So I would definitely suggest using Luke's Force Push in more close ranged uh, circumstances where there's lots of enemies. Now onto his next one, which is Force Charge. And this definitely has uh, a couple of advantageous benefits I, that was worded weirdly. We're going to continue. Uh, the, force, the Force Charge can be used to take out enemies, of course, and actually quite a few enemies at a time. If they're all lined up in a row, that can take them all out. It's also really useful for making a quick getaway if you have to evade a bunch of fire or a bunch of enemies who are dealing a lot of damage to you. That can really be helpful in getting away quickly because you can just jump up and activate it and you will go quite far with the lunge. So that is really, really helpful to make a getaway. But it is really also uh, really advantageous in close quarters, similar to force push, because of course, if enemies are grouped up all in a line, this can take them all out. So it's really, really helpful. Now, of course, his other ability is the lightsaber strike or the heavy strike, I think it's called. And this is really not too useful against infantry troops because it takes more time to complete. It takes more time to complete this move than just a normal lightsaber strike. And in that time, the enemies are going to be dealing more damage to you. And it's really not that useful against troops because, of course, it doesn't do that much more damage than your normal lightsaber. And your normal lightsaber is still a one-hit kill on enemies who don't have the back to bomb effect. So this is really not too useful against infantry troops. However, it is really useful against uh, other heroes, specifically Darth Vader, who has a lightsaber, because, of course, that will break their block if they are blocking your attacks, and that will break it. So, really, that's its only use, and that's the only time I would suggest using it so as to um, break the block of Darth Vader and not use it against troops where they could be dealing damage to you while you're trying to hit them with it. So now on to Luke as a whole, like what are his strengths? Well, he is very, very fast. As you can probably tell, he can jump really far and also run really fast. And that is really useful in both getting away and maneuvering around enemies, especially when on a map like Endor, where there's tons of cover, tons of trees, and it's kind of hard to keep track of someone moving as fast as Luke. That is really handy in keeping up your health while still being able to attack enemies. So make the most of this movement because it is really advantageous. Always be on the move, always do doing jumps, always be quick, and that way enemies will have a much harder time hitting you, and then you can just jump over them and get them from behind. So it's really, really handy. Now, of course, Luke also has the block ability, which is also useful, but you don't always want to be using it because usually when a hero is doing the block ability, other enemies start to group up and shoot uh, at the hero from all sides. So a block isn't really something you want to be doing all the time. However, if you happen to come across just one or two enemies and they start firing at you and you're not quite in range to take them out, just use the block and then once either your hero lunge or you feel like you can jump safely, break the block and then jump closer to them to close in that distance and then you can take them out from a good range. So that is all for Luke Skywalker. He is a really, really powerful hero if used correctly and thankfully he's not too hard to use correctly as long as you take advantage of that speed that he has and that movement that he has, you can do really, really well with Luke and of course 
don't stand out in the open don't just tank damage because that never really works with heroes you'll just lose health quickly and it won't be good for your team or you so definitely again take advantage of the movement just sprint around the map always be jumping always be ducking out of cover from enemies and then strike when the time is right when there's not too many enemies around or when they're not looking at you and you're in a good range to combat the enemies so that is all for the luke skywalker review thank you all so much for watching if you found this helpful i am glad if you wish to subscribe feel more than welcome to and as always i will see you guys next time goodbye